So it's Tuesday morning. I'm here at the Star GB Open House with Matt Lee. Matt, I want you to give us a quick walk around and tell us what's on show here for engineers that may come either today, tomorrow or Thursday because the show runs all week. So let's go this way to start with. Uh, there is obviously a few bodies here already, which we're going to have to try and avoid. Uh, firstly, Matt, before we get to machines, Floyd Automatic, big uh, supplier of tooling, aren't they, to start? Huge, yeah. I mean, they're massive in the industry. So if you've got any kind of specific tooling needs, these guys are the ones to talk to. They sell product, but I also, when, when I talk to them, it's all about the solution, isn't it? They like to come to, they like someone to come to them with a problem. Yeah, like some suppliers don't like that, but they, they do. Uh, and then we start on the machine. So let's start with this one here, Matt. This is the ST38. Lots of engineers will know Star GB for their sliding head lathe technology, which, which this still is. But this is a bit of a different animal, isn't it? Oh, it's an absolute beast. I mean, this is the only triple turret sliding head lathe in the world. So we do this as a 20 and a 38 millimeter machine. Why the turrets? Is it because they're, they're meteor, they're, you know, the, the more tougher the application this is suited for? You've got a lot more power, especially in like the live tools, but the other thing is you can tool it up for really complex jobs, or some other customers do, they'll tool it up for multiple jobs. Okay, great. Right, let's move on. So uh, we then have here another 38 mil machine, but this is, a, this is the SR38 Type B. What's the, uh, the highlight of this machine? It is obviously cutting. Yeah, so this machine's got a full live B axis on there. It can go up to 42 millimeter bar without the guide bush, and you can go through the subspindle in that size as well. A lot of tools. Have you seen this demonstration here? I'm sure you have, Matt. Looking at that, yeah, that... Have, bring it up. I mean, you've got some lovely features on here. So you've got the engraving on there. You see, like the gear cutting, some nice angled hole features. Some really nice All stuff. done in one hit. All one on one hit. Yeah. Okay, right. Then the, uh, the tool inside, more partners. What, what I've found quite interesting so far about uh, today, Matt, is the fact that you're introducing some new technologies here to slide in headlays. For example, shrink fit tooling. Uh, that means that you're going to get less run out on your tools on the slide in head operation. Yeah, absolutely. So for customers chasing out those really fine tolerances and you know, better finishes, this kind of technology you know, and things well, to help, really. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Tungaloy as well. I can't walk past it without telling you a special offer that's on. If you come here this week, you can get uh, free tooling from Tungaloy to trial them um, to see whether they can be a solution to you on your sliding head lathe. Worth coming here for that alone. Uh, Matt SR32J, seen this one before, actually sold. Did you sell it? Uh, not this particular one, no. <laughs> it's, again, another powerhouse. I mean, this machine, you know, we've sold a lot of these this year. A lot of power, very heavyweight machine. You sell a lot more of the bigger machines than you do the smaller ones. We're going to look at a 12 in a minute, but is this predominantly your, your, your key market, your core market? It's funny, you tend to find it tends to be around 20 to 32 millimeters, a big market for us. Okay, so another machine, this is the SR32J2. Uh, what about here, the SW12, Matt? Smaller machine, yes. winter cut parts, medical industry maybe? Uh, yeah, medical, electronics. Yeah, this machine is a twin platter machine, so you can have two tools engaged on like the main uh, spindle at any one time. So you can do complex jobs, but it also means you can take a lot of job out time out of some jobs uh, very efficiently. So we've had customers using these machines over their single platter, and then they'll get a minimum of 30% reduction in cycle time. Wow, big savings, big savings to be had. Uh, we're going to stop here now. This isn't a machine. This this bit's interesting. This is about what you can see. Um, software-wise here from Star. Let's start with the NC Assist as well. Engineers can come here and maybe have a demonstration on this. What is it, Matt? It's our fully conversational programming software. So it's offline, so you can use it on a PC or a laptop. It's uh, basically got- Easy to learn? Yeah, really easy to learn. It's all template driven. So if you uh, bring up what kind of operation you want to do, tap in the parameters and it generates code for you. Uh, burning topic at the moment, HFT. You sell in a lot of this retrofitably and as well on new machines. A yeah, huge, huge seller for us. I mean, most of the machines we sell, the new ones are fitted with HFT, but the uptake on the retrofit has been enormous. Uh, wrap it up in 10 seconds. What is HFT for those that don't know? Effectively, it's chip breaking software. So if you've got horrible materials, say like 316, stainless, 8030 aluminium, we can get those materials to chip. So you're not having to stop the machine to untangle it. Okay, uh, if you want to monitor your machine as well, make sure you're getting the best out of it, keeping your, your downtime to a minimum. Uh, you've got some star monitoring support software as well now, Matt. This is brand new this week. Absolutely, brand spanking new, yeah. So you can uh, monitor your machines on your phone, whether it be Android or uh, 
Apple and you can have it on your PC. You can have up to 100 machines being monitored at Build Stars and you can e extrapolate a lot of detailed information out of this. This is Star's way into the industry for model, isn't it? Trying to be able to uh, measure data, improve the productivity. Absolutely. And so for those companies that are running lights out, they've got a way of finding out what's going on. If there's any alarms here, it'll tell you exactly what's going on with the machine. So you can come here and you have full demos on these. This is really just to whet your appetite. Come with me, Matt. We're just going to um, try and conclude this exercise. Two machines here I just want to touch on. Uh, the 20J2. Yes, so it's um, the newest version of our you know, big selling SR20J. So this machine, you know, a lot more power on this machine. So the sub spindle, same power as the main spindle. We've got an extra half a ton of weight in the casting, so a lot more rigid. And you've got um, you know, much bigger tool holders as well. Just before we move on to what really is the feature here this week, with a, with a machine like that, are, are you finding that engineers that have maybe the, its predecessor side by side, they're getting, they're getting components out of the machine faster? Do you have any examples like that? Uh, not yet, because this is the first one in the country, but you'll find because there's not more tool positions, they'll be able to do more complex work. And because there's more power in there, they'll be able to attack some of the jobs a lot harder as well. They'll be able to remove uh, more metal far faster. So, the SR38J, this is launched here. This is the UK launch this week. Um, why does someone want to come and see this machine, Matt? It is, uh, well, you tell us. Well, basically, if you wanted a 38 millimeter machine from us in the past, you'd have to have one that had a B-axis or a triple turrets. So, this machine's been introduced so for like, the less complex parts, but people want to do up to 42 mil diameter bar. Okay, and does it does therefore it have less tools on it? It's um, you know it, we we talk on your other machines about b, having B-axis units and uh, an additional Y-axis functions and all the rest. of it. Has this not got any of those? Yeah, no Y-axis on the subspindle tooling. There's no B-axis. It's a lot of cross-working tools and face-working, but it will tackle like majority of work you can throw at it. And, and do you think that there's a, there's a big market for this then, Matt, in the UK? Looking at your customers in the southwest? Yeah, absolutely, because. Like I said before, if you wanted uh, one of our SR38 machines, you had to have it with a B-axis. Not everyone needs one, so this would just take a you know, big time to work, you know, doing the simple jobs, and a lot faster. Just, just for the camera now, final message here for engineers that are thinking about jumping in their car, coming from all four corners of the, of the country. Um, what is really the, the highlights from your thing? What, what do you think engineers should come here to see? I think they need to come and see this machine. I think they need to see all of the machines, to be honest, because everyone's doing so many different jobs. Not only that, come see the HFT in action because we're running it on all the different machines. That can help a lot of engineers with any tricky materials and jobs they're doing. Also with like special applications like the ST, the triple turret machine, for those uh, applications where you want to tool up for multiple jobs, or it's a really complex job. Good stuff, Matt. So they have it, Star GB Open House on today. Uh, Tuesday, it's on tomorrow, Wednesday, and it finishes Thursday night. Three days to get here to Derby, to their HQ, uh, to check out uh, in detail what we've looked at here with Matt. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much.